Hall time is the best time. I think I've said that before, but it's still true. Hey everyone, welcome back to another installment to the very first haul edition of a Week in Geek Them in 2019. It is a very exciting time. I love me doing some good old fashioned hauls, talking about comic books, manga, figures, statues, if you will. Uh, what else do we have over there? Uh, Blu rays. 4K Blu-rays, DVDs, a little bit of everything. It was an insane month, and if you want me to review a particular title, please let me know in the uh, comments section down below, and I will happily do so. Now, a little clarification. One of the books that I'm going to feature here, there was supposed to be a review on it, but uh, I, I completely uh, missed the deadline. I wanted it by January and I completely forgot. And when I did realize that I was out of time, it was, you know, it was a little bit too late, but look forward to it. Anyways, uh, let's start with comic books. Let's start with trade paperback first because they're skinny and pretty easy to hold. This was part of December 2018 and it never arrived in time. This was part of the aquatic haul that I was going to feature because there are a lot of Aquaman uh, items in this haul. But this is the first one. This is Volume 6, King Slayer of the Rebirth uh, series. Next up from Marvel, it is Donny Cates' Death of the Inhumans. I love the Inhumans. Some of you may be logging into this channel and be thinking I'm just a an aquatic fanboy, but no, I do love uh, the Inhumans and, and uh, they're some of my favorite stories and all that stuff. So the title is grim and makes me sad, but the story in this is really good and eventually I'll talk about it. But yeah, Death of the Inhumans. From Dark Horse, we've got Black Hammer, Age of Doom Part 1, or, you know, Black Hammer Volume 3, if you will. I'm not getting the library editions. I know those things are beautiful, but for the time being, I don't, I don't need them uh, right now. So yeah, I'm comfortable with the uh, smaller trades. And now we move on to hardcovers. It is VPRD Hell on Earth, Volume Four. We're one hardcover away to finishing Hell on Earth. I cannot wait to read Volume Five and see how it all ends. This is not necessarily a comic book per se, but I did do a video on this if you have been checking out the channel. It was actually the very first video of 2019. It is uh, from Inside Editions, Inside Editions and Mike Avila. The Art and Making of Aquaman. I rarely collect uh, art books and making ofs. I love those type of books, but I just don't have room for them. But this was an exception. This is a beautifully crafted book. If you want to check out the video, it's on this channel. We have a bunch of omnibuses here, starting with Super Sons from DC. This I was supposed to review this in the month of January, but I totally forgot. So yeah, look forward to this. Look forward to this really, really soon. Super Sons from uh, Rebirth. That's Superman from uh, Gleason and Tomasi. This is the oversized hardcover uh, or Rebirth Deluxe Edition Volume 3. One more to go and we'll be done with this uh, tenure of Superman. I'm very much looking forward to owning the whole uh, Gleason and Tomasi uh, material. This I upgraded from my hardcovers because I really wanted the omnibus. It is the Grant Morrison Seven Soldiers omnibus. I love this spine, I love this story, so uh, a friend of mine got a cool Christmas gift as a result so I could get this instead. I love this story. And of course, if you watched the Omnis over at the uh, Omnibus Collectors Network and Omnibros Live, you might have heard my picks. Unfortunately, I couldn't be on because of the whole internet thing. Uh, but I voted this as the best release of 2018. Is it, it should come as no surprise that this would be my favorite release. In my opinion, it is the best release, the best Omnibus of 2018. It is, of course, Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus. This, my friends, is monumental. One, this book is amazing. Two, 
the art in it is superb, and three, it's just overall extremely fun, man. I love this run so much, and this, I was a fan before this started, before the New 52, this cemented my status and my uh, love for the characters. So for this, I will be forever thankful. And I'm just happy that the character finally, after decades of published material, finally has an omnibus. That's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to manga. 2019 is gonna be a very interesting year. One, uh, a lot of manga are going to be read and reviewed. And two, I helped launched, I helped launch uh, the Manga Bros, as we're calling it, as of January 2019. It doesn't really have an official name, but I think that's what we're going to be sticking with for the time being. I helped launch uh, the idea of Manga Bros. Eventually, I will be on it, but I do work behind the scenes creating that live stream, and uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a manga filled year so if you don't like manga I, I, I don't know sorry uh, but I do try and balance things out with comic books and other type of content on this channel so don't worry it's gonna be more like a 50 50 but uh, speaking of manga I finally went ahead and grabbed all of this goodnight Pun Pun series volumes 3 all the way up to 7 I had the first two and I couldn't wait I was getting them uh, at a slow pace but I went up and got all of it, read it, it was life-changing, and I cannot wait to talk about it uh, really soon uh, on this channel. Another series that I have been picking up is Spirit Circle. Here we have the first four volumes. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Here are all the covers and stuff. And uh, it was going for cheap. I think it was going for like, out of uh, 13 bucks, it was going for like eight. So I went ahead and picked up the first four out of six. I like the short-running series which will be ironic in a couple of minutes. I also went ahead and finished getting all of Wolf's Mod, so here is volumes of four all the way to volume eight, the finale. So let's take a quick look at the covers, which are really impressive. I love the covers and the art in this series. Here's volume five. Here is volume six, volume seven, and volume eight. Uh, last episode, uh, last haul, I should say, the final haul of 2018, I mentioned that these books were missing. They did arrive uh, safe and sound. It took a while, but here are the final volumes that I was missing for Berserk, right there. Volumes 30, 32, 36, 37, and of course, the latest one that to be released locally, volume 39 as well. I have read everything, and I cannot wait to talk about it because... This is easily one of my favorite things of all time. It was that great. Next up, some uh, shonen -y books, if you will. I did get uh, Dr. Stone, Volume 3. My Hero Academia Vigilantes, Volume 3. Fire Force, Volumes 2, all the way up to what? Uh, <laughs> volume 5. So yeah, I will finally be continuing this series. It's been a long wait. Uh, I did the review on Volume 1 a long time ago. So yeah, Volumes... Uh, the next four volumes, I am very much looking forward to uh, talking about this because it's a fun series as well. And I said I liked short series. <laughs> okay, this should give you a hint. Uh, this is old. I, I don't think I showed them on the uh, on the previous um, on the previous haul, but <laughs> we have two volumes of One Piece. Uh, the Omni editions, the Omnibus editions, all the way up to Volume 9. Those were old. I forgot to mention or, or show them on previous hauls or whatever. Alright, so last time I do believe I highlighted up to book f uh, 15? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> up to Volume 10 or something. It, I know it was Volume 24. But look at all these Luffy's. Uh, omnibus editions up to 15 which conclude the water 7 stuff and features up to volume what is this volume 45 so yeah that is a lot a lot of one piece I'm currently as of this video going through all the volumes and doing a readathon and eventually on this channel I am going to be discussing all the arcs or the major plot stories or whatever you want to call them but yeah one piece it's an excellent manga next we're going to talk about uh blu-rays 
because there's a lot of them as well. Uh, these are regular movies. I did get on 4K the Steelbook Edition for Jurassic World Collection. It's basically all five movies in 4K. They look awesome, by the way, especially the older ones. They look really good. I It was like watching them for the first time in a long while. Uh, because of Glass, I went ahead and picked up Split. I had already seen this a couple times, but I didn't own it, and now I do. Uh, this, this little thing, the black sheep of the Marvel family, the Incredible Hulk on 4K. This is the best transfer available for this movie. I don't think it can get better than this, but even then, I was a little bit uh, uh, underwhelmed by the quality like certain scenes look great others especially the whole CG thing uh, you know it's been 10 years and it's a little bit dated in my opinion but still it's fun I genuinely enjoy this movie a lot the plot in this is really good the effects like I said they've aged a little bit but I like it and um, I hate the fact that it's the black sheep and rarely gets mentioned officially so yeah <laughs> the Incredible Hulk I never bothered picking it up on uh, Blu-ray. I only had like the DVD from back in the day, if you can believe it. So I said, you know what? It was going on sale for like nine bucks or something. I'll pick it up. What's the worst that could happen? And finally, an Oscar-nominated movie, uh, Black Klansman on Blu-ray 4K. I do believe this was on sale. Forgot how much, but this was on sale, so I got it for cheap as well. Moving on to anime, this is a very bizarre portion of this haul video. It is, of course, I did a little quick little unboxing on it. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Set 1, limited edition, whatever. This is an amazing presentation. I love this Blu-ray box, and I am very much looking forward to getting the other two that are released. Uh, this is awesome. I watched a little bit, and I love the series. I get, I get the hype. Don't worry, I, I get it. Next up, if you watched my haul, you will remember my Aniplex rant. Oh, <laughs> it got worse from there. You see, I am a huge fan of the Fate Stay Night series. I have the first one, and I had uh, I picked up the Heaven's Feel movie. I watched uh, Unlimited Blade Works and Fate Zero on, I think it was Netflix or something like that, or a streaming service. I watched them, or maybe Crunchyroll. So now, for the holidays, I said, you know what, I want to collect them. At least uh, Unlimited Blade Works, because Fate Zero had gone out of print. So I picked up uh, Unlimited Blade Works. This is what I have here. Unfortunately, I picked them up. They were both in stock, both volumes. Volume 2 shipped, and then Volume 1 went out of stock, mysteriously. It stayed that way. I call them. They're like, oh yeah, don't worry about it, uh, we got it. But let me check just in case. They go uh, talk to a supervisor, I guess? I don't know, I don't know how that works. Turns out it was a mistake. Everything's out of print, so they canceled everybody's orders and uh, I was left <laughs> without part one. And Aniplex, in their infinite wisdom, uh, they don't really care, they're not gonna say anything. I I'll probably get a loyalist uh, hitting the dislike button, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but regardless, here's what I ended up getting. This is Fate Stay Night uh, Unlimited Blade Works Set 2 with the later half of the series. This is a great box. It has a soundtrack and some art cards or whatever, art prints, a uh, booklet, a bunch of cool stuff. So for part one, the DVDs are still in stock. I know, DVDs, but... Whatever, 2019, and here I am getting DVDs, but at least I got it. This is the uh, complete first season, if you will, or the first 13 episodes. Oh, Aniplex. Uh, whatever. Here are some other anime Blu-rays that I got. It is Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt Bandit Flower. This is set in the Universal Century timeline. I also got Death Note, the complete series. I already had it. I gave away my uh, DVDs to a friend as a gift so I could get this version instead and, you know, save myself some shelf space. I got the Essentials editions of Myriad Colors Phantom World. I'm starting to watch this for the first time. It is Overlord. I had already, actually, I had already seen the first half of it. So I went up and picked up this version so I could watch the whole thing and then move on to the other two seasons. Also got One Punch Man, which I had I have not seen, actually. I know, everybody's seen this and their grandmother. Uh, but yeah, here I am, One Punch Man. 
And last but not least, one of my favorite shows, I finally got it, it is uh, Toda Dora, the two volumes. It's a DVD case, but it's actually Blu-ray and DVD as well. Finally, to finish things off, this is probably... Actually, no. 2019, we will see Overwatch pops, so those will probably be the last ones for now. But I had to get it. It is the Deluxe DC Collectibles Jim Lee Aquaman uh, pop. This is my favorite version of Aquaman, if you've been wondering. I love Peter David. I love uh, Rebirth. I love uh, Silver Age, Golden Age. I love all versions of the character in the comic books. But if you were to ask me what's my, what's my favorite version of Arthur in the comics, it has to be this. It has the toughness and grittiness of the 90s with the sensibilities of the old school stuff with a new twist and stuff. He's got the scruffy beard. And of course that iconic scene where he is killing a parademon. Here in the back, you can see the cover recreated. This was Justice League issue. This was Justice League issue number four of the new 52 stuff. And last but not least, technically they're more like figurines, but people like to label them as statues uh, to each his own. I got the uh, Fujiko Mine Ban Presto uh, Master Stars piece. Fujiko, this is the second version. I do believe this is from uh, part 5 of the anime. So yeah, this is a really cool uh, statue, or figurine if you will. And from a good friend who gifted this to me. Uh, this is the uh, General Frankie from One Piece looking pretty awesome as well. I haven't opened them yet, but they're pretty awesome. <sighs> Alright, so that in a nutshell is the first haul of 2019. Uh, from now on, I don't know, I'm going to slow down on a few things, but uh, I am very excited to tackle some of these long-running series like uh, One Piece and bring you reviews on or discussions on Berserk and all that stuff. Uh, guys, thank you so very much. You are the absolute best. I love every single one of you. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the content, sharing the love. You, uh, you make my day with that stuff. I wish you nothing but the best in this uh, new year, I guess. And I will catch all of you on our next review slash unboxing slash discussion. I don't know. The next video. I'll catch you then. Bye.